In this video, I want to take a look at the difference between assigning to a string and using using str copy to actually copy uh, the data into it. I have seen this question asked quite a few times over the last few months and on the internet, so I figured that it's a good idea to actually make a video on it and explain what's up. To start things off, what I'm gonna do is actually create a let's say a global variable that you're trying to use everywhere in the program, right? So here I'm gonna have a, let's say char pointer, str, right? And I also have uh, the number of bytes inside this str. So I'm gonna say here int num, just like that. And uh, let's say I have multiple functions, right? So the program is structured in multiple functions and I have here a function that says create. Right, so that creates the, initializes basically the str and the num. And the str, what I want it to be, is to be dynamically allocated. So here we're gonna start off with just num, let's give it a starting number like 100, and str equals malloc of size of char, which is, you know, it's one, but just to be safe, and times num here. Okay, and now that we have this str dynamically allocated, at one point we're gonna have to free it. So we're gonna have to take into consideration, but I'm doing this uh, in such a way that, let's say I don't actually know how much, how many characters I want to store in this str, right? So if I ever go past 100 characters, I can double its size nicely using realloc. Okay, so we have create here, and suppose I'm in another function called, let's say, void process, and this guy, what it does, it actually just uh, tries to save data into, in the, into this str. Okay, so here we have just some example data. It doesn't matter where we got it. It matters that it's saved into an array into this function. So we're gonna say here char, uh, let's say example and array for 100 characters, right? And this guy, let's initialize this with the string, I don't know, this is a test let's say. And here, of course, I'm going to call create and I'm going to call process. Now the question is, right, having this str, this string, this char pointer, global, either global like this or in a struct or anything, anywhere else, and having this, how can I copy this string into it? What is the difference between doing really str equals example and doing str copy into str from example. What's what's the difference between these two uh, setups? Because really if we test it, if we for example do, let's say the first one, if I do the first one and I say printf, just percent s backslash n and then str, right? So the, the str that was defined here, well, if I run this, I'm gonna get this as a test on the screen. And similarly, of course, if I do str copy and if I run this, you'll notice I'm still gonna get this as a test on the screen. But what's what's the correct answer? What's the difference between the two? Well, one important thing to realize is that str, an example, before we do any operations with them, are two separate boxes, two separate have two separate memory blocks. So, for example, for really example, our example array is a box on its own that has the text this is a test right while str has an empty box it doesn't have anything in it but it is still memory that was allocated to it dynamically okay so we have basically it's just two arrows one of them is an array but when you use it with str copy both example and str both decay into pointers, right? Str being already a pointer, but example does decay into a pointer because it is an array. So this is the overview right before we do any operations with them. Like right before we have instantiated here our example, right after this line of code, this is the situation, right? We have str pointing to its own empty box and then example pointing to the characters, this is a test. Nice. Uh, what happens if we do str equals example? What happens if we do that in this case? Well, if we do that, uh, if we assign to str anything, that means we change the address it's pointing to. 
right? That means that really changing the address is pointing to, we change the arrow, right? Because pointers are really just arrows to memories. So we change this arrow to point to something else. In this case, we make str not point to this empty box. We make str point to this box here, just like that. Now, there's a pretty big issue with this program because these two boxes, like they are memory blocks, that's right, but they are different types of boxes. This guy was instantiated on the stack, right? It's an array, it's on the stack uh, of the function call. So when this function call finishes its execution, this box, this, uh, this, memory that has been allocated for it disappears, gets deallocated automatically because it hasn't been allocated dynamically, of course. So the point, the place where str points after the process function has finished, it's, it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. It's deallocated. You don't have access to it. If you change it, if you try to access it at one point, you're probably just going to get a segmentation fault. So this is the first issue with the code. The second one is with this empty box. Well, this empty box was allocated with malloc, but uh, how do you free it? You no longer have an arrow pointing to this empty box. You cannot just say, you cannot just say uh, here, like right after process, you can just say free str if you have done this, right? If I try to do this and run the code, you'll notice it of course breaks because well, this str is actually pointing to this string, which was actually deallocated right after the function finish, finished its execution. So doing this, it says free a place in memory that we don't have access to, and the program just breaks. Not only that, but this place in memory does not actually get deallocated. So this is really the wrong approach. Right. If you do this, you're changing the arrow. Now, what is the alternative? Well, if instead we do we do str equals example, we do str copy of, well, we copy into str the contents of example. Let me move this to the left here. Like this, if we do this, what happens instead is says, okay, so I'm going to copy the contents of example into whatever str points to without changing the str pointer. We don't actually change the arrow, we just change its contents. So instead what happens is we simply copy the contents that, well, are pointed to by example. So just kind of copy this, these characters. So just cop control C and then we paste them over to our other guy here. If I can make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And as you can see, this would be the end result. We still have access to both blocks of memories. This example array, if it gets deallocated after the call is finished, after the process finished, after the process function finished executing, um, it's fine. Nothing gets linked to it. So we can just do free of str and we can free it because this guy was dynamically allocated, right? This guy was dynamically allocated up here, but it just happened to have copied in this text. This is a test. So we copied this, these characters into the memory that we have allocated here without actually changing str. Notice we don't change str with str copy, right? All we do is pass the address of str, we never pass. So this evaluates to a number that represents the address to which it's pointing to, but we can never just modify it in a function call. So this doesn't change. This doesn't change just the contents, the uh, blocks of memory they are pointing to. Okay. So in this case, printf str does still work. But if I launch this with that three down below, it's also going to work because of course, str still points to this malloc, to this place in memory that we have dynamically allocated. Sure, you can make it point to another place in memory that is not dynamically allocated, but then 
three is gonna stop working. Okay, so this is why this is why you should use str copy in this case rather than just uh, rather than just assigning values to it. And of course, if I, for example, have instead of a pointer here, right? If I have here char str array of a hundred for some reason, and let's say I comment this out, we don't need to allocate memory for it. It's already it's just an array. str equals example, of course, doesn't work. It's not like in every other language where you can do this. An array cannot be a modifiable L value, meaning that you cannot evaluate str to actually modify itself. Right? This str is just going to automatically decay into a pointer when used as an R value, when used in an operation or anything, but you cannot simply modify the place it's pointing to because it is an array, right? You can modify the individual characters if you want to, right? You can say str of zero equals example of zero, but that's the same as doing str copy in that case. So similarly with a pointer here, right? So char pointer str, if we allocate it, uh, you shouldn't be changing it like this, at, at least without doing some uh, side work before to actually ensure that we still have access to this to this str value here, right? Because here we're just overwriting it. We could say something like char pointer uh, temp equals str and then use it later on. That's fine. But simply thinking that str, this assignment actually copies the string over is wrong. This is not actually what happens. Uh, what happens is just the reference gets changed from pointing to a to a dynamically allocated block of memory to pointing to a statically allocated point block of memory that is this array, right? That's all that happens after the uh, array has been deallocated. Of course, if it's not dynamically allocated and all and all that, um, well, the reference is invalid, right? And free of str doesn't make sense for memory that is not dynamically allocated. So I hope you see the difference now. I hope you got something out of this video and uh, I hope that more people are clarified on this matter, why you would use str copy instead of just assignments. In other languages, you can use assignments, of course, because strings are different in, that, in those languages. But here, this is how strings work and this is how you should use them in C. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.